legs and lower back. So in that case, now you're fine. Begin lying down on your back. Come all the way down and hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze just to settle in. Guru Felix is here. He will be my assistant today, um, but he will settle down eventually. So, but he might come say, hey. Alrighty. And once you've given yourself a little bit of movement here, take your feet wide, as wide as your yoga mat, and allow your knees to knock together in the center. Bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. Relax your shoulders and close down your eyes if it feels comfortable. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And sigh this first one out your mouth. <laughs> Again, breathe deeply in through your nostrils. And exhale, let it go. And one more time, just for good luck, take a deep breath in. And release. And then if it feels okay for you, begin to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. And as you do so, Notice the movement of your hands on your body. As the breath comes in, your bottom hand raises and brings the breath all the way up to your top hand. And as the breath comes out, your top hand softens and then your bottom hand. And see if you can bring a bit more awareness to that action. So breathe deeply into your bottom hand, your belly. And bring the breath all the way up into your top hand. And as you exhale, allow your top hand to soften. And then draw your belly button gently down as you eliminate all of the air out of your body. Beautiful. And keep going like this for a few more breaths. Your breath is a super great guide for your yoga practice and it can dictate to you whether or not you're pushing too hard and that kind of feels like catching your breath or breathing really sharp and quickly. Or it can also let you know if you're just having a bit of a roll around on the mat today, maybe start yawning. So try your very best to bring evenness to your breath. A balance between stability and freedom, what we call in yoga, sthira and sukha. Find a few more breaths in and out. Gentle and controlled. Inhale. And then on your next exhale, leave your feet exactly where they are, but allow both of your knees to fall to the right side of your yoga mat. And then reach your arms up overhead, grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand, and then shuffle your upper body towards your right knee. Plug your left shoulder blade down into the mat. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, gently tug on your left wrist to get a big stretch through the whole left side of your body. Beautiful. Inhale, breath here. Exhale again, draw your left shoulder blade down. Breathe strongly into the left side of your body. As you breathe in, feel the skin stretch across your rib cage. And as you exhale, soften your glutes, soften your legs. If this is enough on your hips, you can stay just like this or pick up your right ankle and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. And if you take that option, find a little bit of happiness, a little bit of energy in your toes. Beautiful. Inhale again, gently pull on your left wrist. Exhale, draw your left shoulder down. Inhale, stretch your skin across your left side. Exhale, soft. One more like this, take a deep breath in. And then use your exhale to gently release your wrist and crawl your upper body back to the center. Unhook your leg if you took that option and bring your feet back to the starting point. So 
feet wide, knees together. Take another deep breath in here. And as you exhale, allow both of your knees to fold to the left. Reach your right arm by your right ear. Grab a hold of your wrist with your left hand and shuffle your upper body over to the left. Inhale, stretch your right arm. And then exhale, plug your right shoulder blade down into the mat. Notice how your hips feel on this side. There's an internal rotation of your right leg and an external rotation of your left leg. And you don't necessarily need to know what that means. But if you feel like you could give yourself a little bit more of both of those things, pick up your left ankle and cross it over your right thigh and spread your toes. Inhale to stretch the skin across your right rib cage. Stretch your intercostal muscles, the muscles in between each rib. And exhale to soften. Soften your glutes, soften your thighs. Inhale deeply. X. Final breath in here. And as you exhale, gently soften your grip. Bend your upper body back to the center. Unhook your leg and bring your feet <clears throat> back wide, your knees together. Take your left hand back to your heart and your right hand back to your belly. And find two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Nice. Grab a hold of your block. Just one. And now bring your feet together and lift your feet so that your shins are parallel with the earth. Take the short edge of your block to the right to your right thigh and then bring your elbow, right elbow to the opposite side. Find some activity in your toes. So point your toes like a ballerina. Keep your foot like this, but now spread your toes. So you have a little Barbie foot. Spread the fingers of your right hand. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, begin to feel your belly button draw down towards the earth. Hug all of your abdominal muscles in towards the center. Nice. Now reach your left arm by your left ear and extend your left leg forward, keeping your ankle hovering off of the floor. Nice. Inhale. And then as you exhale, squeeze your left elbow and knee together. Look forward. Inhale, extend. Bring your head back down. Exhale to squeeze and lift. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Nice. Inhale, extend. Keep squeezing your block with your right limbs. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Pull your belly button down. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift, stay here. Notice if your belly is forming like a little loaf in the center. Instead, can you pull your belly button down and sort of flatten your guts across your yoga mat? Nice. Inhale, lift a little bit. And then uh, exhale, release, release your block. Let your knees go from side to side. Just a gentle release. And then other side. Woohoo! Bring your shins parallel once again to the uh, yoga mat. Take the lowest side of the block to your left thigh. Bring your left elbow to the opposite side. Find your active feet. So point, but floint, we call it, your toes. Spread your left fingers wide. Squeeze your block with your elbow and thigh. Nice. Now reach your right arm by your right ear. Extend your right leg forward. Let it hover. Inhale here. And then exhale. Squeeze and lift. Bring your elbow and knee towards one another. Inhale to extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Pull your belly button towards the floor. Inhale, extend. Exhale, ugh, squeeze it in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift. You got this. Lift your shoulders even more. Inhale, extend. Last one. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Stay here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull your belly down. Flatten your guts across the mat. You got this. Nice. And then exhale, release. Move your block to the side. Hug your knees in towards your body. And then rock a little from side to side. Lovely. And then take your arms wide into a T or a cactus. And let both of your knees fall to the right side. Inhale across your chest. Exhale to pull your left shoulder down towards the earth. If your knees lift, that's totally okay. One more breath in. And then exhale, connect to your core, pull your belly button in, use your core to lift your knees back to center and then over to the left. Whoop. 
Nice. Draw your right shoulder blade down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, draw your belly muscles in. Use them to bring yourself back up to the center. Take your hands behind your knees and begin to rock and roll up and down the length of your yoga mat. Whee! The slower you go, the more controlled the movement, the more a spinal kind of massage you get. <laughs> nice. And then rock and roll all the way up and come into a tabletop position on all fours and have your blocks sort of ready at the top of your mat in case we want to use them. <clears throat> Beautiful. Spread your fingers wide here like rays of sunshine and press down into the mat. <clears throat> Look in between your thighs, bring your knees directly underneath your hip points and if you can see your toes pointing in or out, line them up with your ankles so everything's on the same train track. Looks beautiful. Nice. Press strongly into your index and thumb knuckles and then without moving your fingers, imagine squeezing your finger and thumb together and then press into all 10 knuckles evenly. Draw your lower belly up and in. Nice. Bring your gaze directly in between your thumbs. Reach forward through the crown of your head. Inhale here. Exhale. And then on your next inhale, slowly start to lower your belly as you pull your heart forward, lift your chin, lift your booty. And then exhale, press into the earth, begin to round your spine, bring your chin strongly towards your chest. Nice. Inhale again, lower your belly button towards the mat, lift your butt, lift your chin, and exhale opposite direction. Pull your shoulder blades apart, draw your belly up and in. Keep moving with your own breath, inhaling to find a stretch to the front side of your body. And then as you exhale, find that same length in the back side of your body. Nice. And then from here, if you're feeling that you want to tap into your inner Beyonce, you can start to take this in some sexy circles. Keep using your breath to guide the movement. You can get your head and neck involved. Beautiful. And if you're taking circles, go in one direction and then the other. Super nice. Keep moving, keep exploring movement as you tuck your toes underneath you. And keep breathing and rolling your spine around in any kind of way that feels good as you lift one knee and then the other. And like you're on an 80 step machine, begin to pedal out your legs, bend one knee and then the other. Continue the exploration of movement by twisting and turning into your hips, shaking out your head. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, move your jaw around, get weird, make some noise. Wow, wow. And then slowly begin to find stillness in your downward facing dog. Bend your knees, spread your fingers wide, and press your hands into the earth. As you do that, roll your sitting bones up towards the sky. Feel your spine lengthen. Nice. Take an inhale. And then exhale, look in between your legs. And if you can see the heels of your feet, hide your heels behind your toes so that your inner thighs spiral towards one another like you're having a little gossip. And then press the fronts of your thighs onto the backs of your thighs. Keep lengthening your spine high up towards the sky. Push your fingertips away from your hip points. Inhale here. Exhale, draw your belly up and in. Beautiful, everybody. Nice. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. And we'll meet in Uttanasana, forward fold at the back of your mat. Option to grab opposite elbows here and just kind of dangle. Allow your knees to bend as much as they need to. Give your head a little shake. Again, feel free to open your mouth to get your tongue, get weird, make some noise, move your jaw, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and then find stillness. Inhale here. Exhale, release your fingerprints to the floor, and then on an inhale, paint them all the way up your legs. Find halfway lift, Adha Uttanasana. Reach the crown of your head forward, roll your shoulders away from your ears, pull your belly up and in. Take another inhale, find length. And then exhale, bend your knees, fold your belly over your thighs, relax your head and neck down. Nice. Inhale again, lengthen halfway. 
Press into all parts of your feet. So notice if the weight shifted back into your heels, can you shift it forward into your toes? Exhale again to release. And once more, inhale, float up halfway. Nice. Find this length in your spine by reaching the crown of your head forward and then rolling your booty bones apart. Whee! And now take your hands and swoosh, swoosh them back behind you like you're wearing a superhero cape with your palms facing down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Draw your belly up and in. Take an inhale. And then exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, reach your arms up by your ears for Utkatasana chair pose. Contain your belly muscles, spread your fingers wide. Nice, bring your biceps a little closer to your ears when we're inhale. And then exhale, press into your feet and let your hands go down to, this, to your sides, beautiful. All right, inhale, reach for the sky. And then this time, exhale, cactus bend your arms, spread your fingers really wide, beautiful. Take a bend in your knees. <laughs> Lovely. And then on an inhale, reach your heart forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pop your booty back. And then as you exhale, hug everything in, close your arms like a book. Nice. Inhale, open wide, stretch the front side of your body. Exhale, close everything in, pull your belly back. Nice. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Last one. Inhale, open wide, pull your fingertips back. Exhale, hug all of your energy in. And then this time, inhale, reach for the sky, straighten your legs. Take your hands together and exhale with a long spine, fold forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, Adha Uttanasana. And then exhale, crawl your hands forward, back into downward facing dog. Very nice. Spread your fingers wide. Spread your toes wide. Roll your sitting bones up high. Nice. Give your head a little shake. Can relax. It's just about the only thing that can in this shape. <laughs> Take another inhale, exhale, and then look forward in slow motion, crawl your feet to the top. Ain't no destination, just land wherever feels good. Take your feet together or hip distance apart. Fold when you get there, allow the crown of your head to pull towards the earth. Press into all parts of your feet evenly and imagine rolling your butt up to the sky. Feel that lengthen the backs of your legs even more. Very nice. Inhale here. Exhale. Press into your feet. Inhale, reach all the way up. Look up, take your hands together. And then exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart for Tadasana. Drop your hands by your sides, roll your shoulders back. Lift up through the crown of your head. So draw your chin down ever so slightly so the back of your neck is long. And press your feet into the earth. In doing that, feel energy lift up your legs into your kneecaps, your quads. Feel it lift into your hips, your core. Feel it lift all the way into your chest as you roll your shoulders back, draw your shoulder blades down. And then finally lift and lengthen through the crown of your head. Inhale through the front side of your body. And then exhale, ground down through the back side of your body. Again, like that, inhale, lift up through the front side of your body. And exhale, ground down through your backside. All right, we ready? Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, slice the air as you fold down Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, press into your hands, step, step back, downward facing dog. Throw your belly button in towards your spine and roll yourself forward like you're unrolling your yoga mat. And when your shoulders land over your wrists, drop your knees, untuck your toes, take an inhale, push the floor away, <clears throat> excuse me, and as you exhale, keep pushing the floor away as you send your elbows straight back behind you and slowly lower to the earth. Nice. Roll your shoulders back, press strongly into the tops of your feet and inhale for cobra. Exhale, lead with your nipples, reach them forward as you crawl back down, yeah. tuck your toes, lift your hips, come back into downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Find all of your action, spread your fingers wide, roll your hips away from your fingertips. Widen your butt cheeks apart. Widen your face cheeks apart by smiling. <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale, draw your lower belly up and in. Inhale. Exhale, send your heels closer to the earth. They never have to touch, but just that sensation will lengthen your legs even more. One more inhale. 
Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, see where you want to go and make your way to the top in any kind of way. When you get there, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, bend your knees, melt over your legs. Just swallow your necklace, press into your feet. Inhale, rise to the sky. Nice. And exhale, go straight back down. Slice the air, bend your knees, fold forward, relax your head. Ugh, I keep falling like jewelry. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, press into your hands. This time, step your right leg way back and drop your right knee. Nice. You can keep your toes tucked or untucked, doesn't matter. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, relax into your pose just a little. Nice. Inhale to pull your hands up by your ring fingers. Let your shoulders rise with you. Lift your whole body out of your legs. Keep that. And then exhale, sink a little deeper. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, cactus bend your arms. Beautiful. Pull your fingers back in space. Spread your fingers really wide like jazz hands. Inhale, lift your waist. Keep it there. And then exhale, close your arms like a book around your spine. Nice. Inhale, open. Tiny back bend here. Lift your chest. Exhale, close. Press into your front foot. Inhale, open. Nice. Exhale, close. Whew. Inhale, open wide. This time, reach your arms to the sky. Take your right hand down and rotate towards your left thigh. Nice. Press into your bottom hand and then pull your left fingertips away from your arm. Nice. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, rotate your right nipple towards your left inner thigh. If this is enough, stay here or tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. Beautiful yogis, nice choices. One more inhale back here. Exhale, float your left hand down towards the mat and then step your left foot back to meet the right. You can be on the knees here, no problem. Keep your fingers spread really wide, shift your weight forward, inhale. Exhale, lower your knees, lower your chest, let your elbows skim your ribcage on the way down. Untuck your toes, roll your shoulders back, press into your hands as you lift up for cobra. Exhale, stay for one more breath. Inhale, lift through the crown of your head. Exhale, pull energetically back on your hands as you reach your heart forward, roll on down. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Press your fingerprints away from your hips. Keep rolling your sitting bones up high. Relax your head and neck. Inhale. Exhale. Press the fronts of your thighs onto the backs of your thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees. Look where you want to go. Make your way to the top. However you like. When you get there, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, pull your belly in to fold over your legs. Press into your feet. Inhale, reach all the way to the sky. And exhale, come all the way back down. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, press into your fingerprints. This time, take a big step back with your left leg. Drop your left knee. And inhale, rise up. Lovely. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Press evenly into all parts of your right foot. And then inhale, pull your arms up. Pull your chest up, pull your waist out of your hips. Keep all of that. And then exhale, sink a little deeper. Nice. One more inhale. Exhale, this time take your hands together and then bring your thumbs to the base of your skull. Wrap your biceps in towards your face. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, draw your belly up and in like someone's about to <clears throat> gut punch you. Brace your core. Inhale, lift your elbows. And then exhale, lean your head back into your hands. So you don't want to feel this in your lower back. You're just back bending in the upper thoracic spine. Inhale, lift a little higher. Lift from your waist. Exhale, draw your belly in as you lean your head back. Beautiful. One more breath in here. Exhale. Inhale, reach for the sky. And then exhale, float your left hand down as you rotate towards your right thigh. Nice. Find action in your hands. Pull your right hand away from the left. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale to rotate your left nipple closer to your right inner thigh. Stay just like this if it's enough or tuck your left toes underneath you. Lift your left knee. And if you're doing that, power up your back leg. 
Find a tiny bit more rotation. One more inhale. Exhale to float your right hand all the way down. Spread your fingers wide. Step your right leg back to meet your left for plank. Hold plank. You can be on the knees if you need to be. Otherwise, push the floor away. Curl your pubic bone towards your nose. Hug all of the meat onto your bones. Nice. Press into all 10 knuckles evenly. Imagine the floor is lava. Suck your boobs out away from the floor. Inhale, shift forwards. Exhale, lower your knees. Keep pushing the floor away. Super slow motion. Go halfway down. Don't let your shoulders drop lower than your elbows. And then push back up. Nice. Untuck your toes. Curl your pubic bone towards your nose. Reestablish this strong connection with your hands and the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Slow motion. Lower halfway down. Lower all the way down. Super nice. Take your fingerprints to the outer edges of your mat. Like spidey hands with your elbows facing straight up. Pick up your legs one after the other and send them back behind you so your legs are super long. Press into the tops of your feet so much that your kneecaps lift off of the floor. Nice. And then press into your fingerprints, tuck your chin into your chest, and inhale, roll up, super slow motion. And then as you exhale, drop your right shoulder, look to the left. Come on down. Nice. Inhale, roll up. Sexy snake. Exhale, take your left shoulder down, look to the right. Again, inhale, roll up through center. Exhale, go to the left. Beautiful. Inhale, roll up, super slow motion, press into the tops of your feet. Exhale, go right. Inhale, roll up through center. And this time, exhale, pull back on your fingers without them moving. Reach your heart forward. Let your heart lead the way like it's about to bust out of your chest. Come all the way down. Take your hands under your shoulders. Bring your toes together, your knees wide. Take a break in child's pose. Nice. Come back to your breath. Beautiful. Inhale. Use your exhale to soften your hips towards your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Spread your fingers wide, shift your weight forward, tuck your toes, lift your knees, come back into downward facing dog. And feel free to take a little bit of movement here. Whatever feels good in your body. Very nice. All righty. We're going to do a little playtime now. So spread your fingers really wide. Walk your feet a little closer together. On an inhale, float your right leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, try and kick your own butt. Don't. Press more into your right hand. Lift your right knee in space. Inhale here. Exhale, draw your left heel closer to the earth. Inhale, use your butt muscles to lift your right knee even higher. Nice. And then exhale, strongly squeeze your knee towards your nose. Give your knee a kiss. Look forward, step your right foot next to your right thumb. Lovely. Widen your feet a little wider, hip distance or more if you need to. Squeeze your thighs together as you inhale, rise up. Exhale here. Nice. Inhale, pull your arms up, let your shoulders come with you. And then exhale, swoosh your right arm way back behind you. Send your left arm forward. So you're in a twisted lunge. Nice. Now take your right thumb down and reach back for your hamstring. Lift your hamstring into your hand and then inhale. So your left arm up as you lean back. Exhale, bend more deeply in your front knee. Inhale, lift your left lung. And then as you exhale, unravel and open wide into warrior two. So pivot your left heel down, bend deeply through your front knee. Nice. Find power in your fingertips. Flip your right hand, inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, bring your arm forward, straighten your right leg. So bring your arms back into a T shape. Nice. Flip your right hand again, reach your right arm up to the sky, bend your elbow. Flip your left hand behind you, bend your elbow, and either take a clasp with your fingers or you grab your hair, your shirt, whatever is there. So wherever you're at, pull your elbows back in space. Face the long edge of your mat. Nice. Press down into the outer edges of your feet, but at the same time, pull energy up the inner seams of your legs. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, lead with your right elbow and send it towards the top edge of your mat. 
Roll your left shoulder back. Squeeze your legs together. Inhale. Exhale, use your core to maybe go a little deeper. Maybe just think about going a little deeper. Super nice. Roll your left shoulder back. Pull both of your elbows back in space. Lengthen through your crown, the crown of your head. You got it. One more inhale. And then exhale. Find your power to lift back up. Unravel your arms. Send them out wide. Rebend your right knee. And then place your right forearm on your right thigh. And your left arm reach over your left ear. Nice. Again, roll your top shoulder back inhale and then exhale pull your left fingers away from the outer edge of your left foot nice notice if you're just hanging out here test yourself reach your right arm forward feel your legs do the work Whew. squeeze your butt press into all parts of your feet you got this take an inhale exhale look down pivot on your left foot and come back down into a low lunge spread your fingers wide step your right foot back up to the sky actually Spread your fingers really wide. And then this time, bend your knee, hug it in towards your chest. Listen carefully, flex your right foot, cross it over your left thigh, and then draw your right knee away from you. All righty, stay like this, or pivot on the outer edge of your left foot, and then reach your right arm to the sky for some kind of funky side plank situation. If you want to side bend, take your right arm over your right ear, lift your right lung in space, Keep your right toes spread wide. Oh my God, show me things. Take an inhale. <laughs> Exhale, come back to your, to your downward facing dog. Nice. Whew. From here, inhale, roll forward into plank. Exhale to your knees or lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, roll your shoulders back. Inhale for cobra. Press into the tops of your feet. Exhale, pull your heart forward as you roll back down. Downward facing dog is where we will meet. If you need child's pose, then please take it. Oofa. Beautiful choices, everybody. There is a professional dog in the room, so he'll be uh, analyzing your downward facing dogs here. <laughs> All righty. Take an inhale. Exhale. Walk your big toes a little closer together. And on the ne next inhale, float your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your left knee, try and kick your own butt. Nice. Press more into your left hand. Pull your right heel closer to the earth. And then inhale, lift your left knee even higher. Exhale here. Nice. Squeeze your butt muscles to inhale, lift your left leg even higher. And then exhale, swing, swing it close towards your nose. Try and give your knee a kiss. And then look forward, step it next to your left thumb. Widen your feet for balance. Squeeze your inner thighs together and inhale, rise up for high lunge. Exhale, bend your front knee a little deeper. Nice. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your waist. And then exhale, swing your left arm back, right arm forwards. Beautiful. Flip your back thumb down and reach for your right hamstring. And then lift your hamstring into your hand. Flip your front hand, inhale to reverse. Exhale, stay, bend a little deeper. Inhale, lift your right lung, find space and breath. And then exhale, unravel, come into warrior two on this side. Nice. Find your footing, your balance between Sita and Sukha, ease and stability. Spread your fingers really wide. Nice. Flip your front hand, inhale, reverse your warrior. Nice. And then exhale, straighten your left leg, bring your arms back into a T shape. Flip your left hand, reach your left arm up, bend your elbow. Flip your right hand, bend your elbow, either clasp your fingers, grab your hair, grab your shirt. And if all of that really isn't happening, this is another option as well. So you do you. Whatever option you're in, pull your elbows back in space. Inhale, lift your body out of your legs. Exhale, press down into your feet, power up your legs as you send your left elbow towards the top edge of your mat. Nice, roll your right shoulder back. Press down into the outer edges of your feet. Press down into the inner edges. Power up through the inner seams of your legs. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, contain your core. Maybe that gives you a little more space to go deeper. Maybe just thinking about it is enough. Take an inhale. Nice. Exhale, power up your legs to come all the way back up. Release your arms. 
and come back into your warrior two. Nice. Inhale here. Exhale, take your left forearm to your left thigh, reach your right arm over your right ear. Press strongly into the outer edge of your right foot, roll your right shoulder back. Squeeze your glutes. Test that your legs are working by reaching your left arm forwards. Deep breath in. Exhale, look down, pivot on your right heel and bring your hands to the floor, nice. Inhale, send your left leg straight back up into three-legged dog. And then exhale, bend your knee in towards your chest and cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Nice, spread your toes, power up your left foot. Find big, big hands and then roll onto the outer edge of your right foot as your left arm reaches to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, if you want the side bend, take your left hand over your left ear. <laughs> Lift your left lung in space. You got it. Nice. Inhale. And then exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Little vinyasa if you want it or skip it. Inhale, roll forwards into plank. Exhale, super strong as you lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale for cobra. And exhale, you got it. Child's pose. <laughs> Relax your forehead to the floor. Reach forward to your arms. Nice work, yogis. That was a tough one. But you can do hard things. That's exciting, huh? Allow your breath to stretch the skin on the back of your body as you inhale. And as you exhale, Allow yourself to soften. Nice. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then when you're ready, spread your fingers wide. Lift your gaze, shift your weight forward, tuck your toes and lead with your booty all the way up into downward facing dog. Take any kind of movement here, or if you need stillness, take that. Spread your toes, spread your fingers, hide your heels behind your toes, let your inner thighs spiral in towards one another, draw your low belly up and in. On an inhale, float your right leg to the sky. On an exhale, bend your knee, try and kick your butt. Nice. Inhale, lift your right knee even higher. And then exhale, swing your right knee to your left elbow. Look to the left. Pivot on the inner edge of your right foot. Kick your, sorry, left foot. Kick your right leg out in front of you. Reach your left arm to the sky. Woo, we're so strong today. And then plant your left hand. Reach your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee. Try and kick your own butt. If wild thing is in your practice, pivot on your left foot. Tap your right toes down and then lift your hips, lift your heart. Take a little back bend or a big one. Inhale here. Exhale, plant your right hand, lift your right leg. I promise this will be over soon. <laughs> bend your knee and then like a dog peeing on a tree, paint a rainbow with your right knee. Tap your right shoulder. Optional push up here if you want it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. And then plant your right foot so your toes spill over the edge of your mat. And then come onto the outer edge of your left foot and allow your hips to sink all the way down. Nice. You can rest here. So this is a big old hip opener. Nice. This is just how like yogis hang out at the beach. <laughs> Press into your left hand a lot so that you're lifting your waist away from the yoga mat take an inhale and then as you exhale allow your left rib cage to melt down towards the floor so you feel this nice stretch in the side of your left body as well left side of your body is how i was meant to say that <laughs> nice one more inhale and then as you exhale press into your right foot Pivot back into a kind of funky lunge, <laughs> then step back into plank. Nice. Inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale for cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog is where we will hang. All right, let's not muck around. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend your knee, try and kick your own butt. 
Inhale, lift your knee even higher. Exhale, swing your left knee to your right elbow. Pivot on the inner edge of your right foot. Kick your left foot out. Reach your right arm up. Ugh, super strong. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Send your right left leg to the sky. Bend your knee. Try and kick your own butt. Inhale, lift even higher. If you want a wild thing, pivot on your right foot. Tap your left toes down. Lift your hips. Lift your heart. Lean back. You're so strong. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant your left hand, send your left leg to the sky, Ugh. and then bend your knee, try and kick your own butt, lift your knee over to the side like you're a dog on a tree, and then paint a rainbow, paint, uh, tap your left shoulder, knee to your shoulder, optional push-up, and then plant your foot, pivot onto the outer edge of your right foot, Ooh, so many things to do, and then let your hips come on down. Mm. This is the only time a hip opener feels like a break. When you've done all the pinyas. Nice. Shift your uh, right hand forward as much as you need to to get comfy here. And then press into your right hand to lengthen away from the mat. Keep your shoulder more or less where it is. Take an inhale. And then exhale, allow your rib cage to dip down. Nice. Beautiful job, yogis. I have a treat for you. We're going to stay on the floor now. <laughs> Take an inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee so it's behind your left ankle and press yourself into this little shape. Adha Matsyandrasana or Haas, Lord of the Fishes. If you're struggling to get your left booty cheek down to the floor, that's no problem at all. Instead, just swing your right leg out in front of you and hug your left knee in towards your chest. That's the option that I'm going to take today. Sit up tall, roll your shoulders back, lengthen through the crown of your head, press into your left big toe. Take your left knee in your right hand, or you can hug it in, whatever feels good for you. Take your left arm forward, inhale, reach for the sky, and then exhale, send your left hand behind you as you come into a twist. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, draw your belly muscles in and use that to rotate a little deeper. Drop your chin towards your chest and roll your right ear to your right shoulder. Drop your left shoulder down. <laughs> Feel free to take a little bit of movement with your head and neck to get a bit of a stretch. Come here, Hannah. Come on. Good boy. Hi, buddy. Nice. If you find a juicy spot in your neck that you want to give a little more love and attention to, stay there. Inhale. And then exhale, roll your chin down towards your chest to come out. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, unravel your twist. Uh, if you're all crossed up, <laughs> take your uh, left leg out in front of you. Take your right leg out in front of you. Lean back and give your legs a bit of a shake. Nice. If you took the option with the straight leg on the other side, then keep your left leg straight. Either way, grab your right knee, pick it up, and send it on the opposite side of your left thigh. And then if you're taking the full pose, bend your left leg. Otherwise, keep it out in front of you. Regardless of which option you take, press into your right big toe, sit up tall. Nice. Roll your shoulders back, lengthen through the crown of your head. Feel as though you sort of pull your lower belly up. Nice. And then take your left arm, wrap it around your right knee in any kind of way. Send your right arm forward. Inhale, float it to the sky. And then exhale, land your right fingertips behind you as you rotate open to the right. Inhale, find length. Exhale, pull your belly muscles in. Use that to rotate a little deeper. Keep your right big toe pressing into the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Drop your chin towards your chest. Roll your left ear to your left shoulder. And then take a little journey with your head and neck to find 
those spaces that need your love and attention. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Nice. One more inhale. And then exhale, roll your chin down towards your chest to lift it back up again. Inhale, lengthen one last time. And then exhale to unravel. Unravel your legs, send them out in front of you. And once again, give them a bit of a shake. We're not quite done yet. One of my favorite um, leg and lower back sort of releases. I don't even think it's a yoga pose, but it is fun to do. So pick up your right foot and grab your right foot with your left hand. And simply just start to move your leg around in space. Yeah, just get some juice flowing in your right hip joint. Maintain length in your spine. So feel that you're still sitting up really tall whilst you're cradling your leg. And speaking of cradling, if you have more space in your hips, you can take your right foot to the crease of your left elbow and sort of rock your leg baby. Hey, leg baby. Nice. And then here comes the fun part. If you've got a leg baby, take your foot back into your left hand. Take your right arm all the way down to the side, land on your right forearm, and then just get on in there. Give yourself a good old butt massage. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Just get into those dark places. <laughs> This is extra owie if there's a tennis ball or something underneath you. Or oh, a golf ball. I wouldn't recommend a golf ball. Whoa. Super nice. And then in the most elegant way that you can muster, fling yourself back up. <laughs> Send your leg out in front of you. Again, give your legs a bit of a shake. Move your butt meat back behind you so you can sit up tall again. And grab your left foot with your right hand and same same just start moving it in any kind of way maintain length in your spine just opening your hip beautiful again if you have the space and you want to birth a leg baby we call him antonio Tony for short. <laughs> Keep your chest broad, your crown reaching to the sky, beautiful. Inhale. And then exhale once again, grab your left foot with your right hand, lean way over to the left, land on your forearm and then get on in there. It's pizza night last night, so just can imagine that you're Booty is pizza dough, and then you're just kneading it out. Except now we have a machine that does that for us, so. <laughs> Beautiful. Get all up in your goodies until you feel satisfied. Oof. <laughs> and then again, very elegantly, throw yourself back up in space. Give your legs a bit of a shake. Bring your legs together, point your toes like a ballerina. Take your hands together, find a water pistol with your first finger and thumb. No actual guns on my yoga mat. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, pull your belly back, start to round your spine and lean back and then stop. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, pull your belly back and stop. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lean back, stop. And then keep going. Stop. Hug your knees into your chest. Move a little from side to side. Lovely. Whew. And then take your knees wide in towards your armpits. Take your hands inside of your legs and either reach for your ankles or the outer edges of your feet and then kick your feet directly up towards the sky. Spread your toes, pull your toes down towards the earth and draw your knees down to the sides of your body. 
And then again, feel free to rock and roll a little here from side to side. Relax your facial muscles. Superb. Come back to stillness. Plug your shoulder blades into the earth. Pull your sacrum bone down. Feel that your whole back body is connected to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, draw your knees a little closer down. Our last hamstring and hip opener. One more breath in. And then as you exhale gently, like you love yourself, release your feet, send them to the corners of your yoga mat. Nice. And then take your arms out by your sides. As a matter of fact, lift your arms like Frankenstein's monster directly up. Flip your palms behind you. Allow that to kind of plug your arms into their shoulder sockets. And then let your arms float down by your sides with your palms facing up. If you want more lift in the chest, uh, squeeze your shoulder blades underneath you. And then finally, draw your chin down towards your chest to lengthen the back of your neck. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and sigh it out. <clears throat> and then take the deepest breath that you've taken the whole practice. Breathe into your belly, your ribs, all the way into your chest. And hold your breath. Hold it. Hold it, hold it at the top, hold it. Open your mouth, let it go. <clears throat> One more time for good measure. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Hold it. Feel your breath in your throat, hold it. Open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> relax your face, relax your whole body. And allow your blissful shavasana, your blissful rest to permeate every cell of your body. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. And as you do, find gentle movements with your fingers and your toes. Move your head softly from one side to the other. And when you're ready, roll to your favorite side and stay there for just a moment in the fetal position. A reminder of new beginnings and fresh starts. And moving from exactly where you are right now. Keep your eyes closed as you bring yourself up into a comfortable seat of your choice. 
And when you get there, sit up tall. Take your hands together in front of your heart and breathe into all the space you made in your body today. And as you exhale, bow your head to your hands in a gesture of gratitude for your practice today. Gratitude for your incredible body that can do all kinds of cool stuff. And gratitude for anything else that you can think of. And whatever that thing is, let it bring a gentle smile to your lips as you lift your chin and open your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today.